Do you want to grow on OnlyFans? Do you want advice that aren't some viral fluke or something that works for a lucky few? Do you want to try some well-proven strategies employed by multi-million dollar industries over decades? And Mia, yeah, I help hustlers make more money. The key to growing on OnlyFans not to pass luck or creating that one viral video. It's all about mastering the art of marketing. I've been in marketing for 12 years, and today I will guide you through the first steps of creating your marketing plan. The marketing plan will be the backbone of your business. It will help you create a loyal fan base and a thriving community that knows, likes, and trusts you. I have broken down the segments of a marketing plan and tailored it into strategies, especially for OnlyFans creators like yourself. So grab a glass of champagne and let's start working on the first step to crafting your marketing plan. Some important factors when you want to strategically create a marketing plan for your OnlyFans to create growth and money and a loyal fan base for years to come are who are you? Who are your clients? What search words do they use? What's their language? How much money do they have? When are they online? Do they have a family? And best of all, do they have any fetishes? So this marketing plan is going to be your roadmap to success. Let's first start talking about UV, your unique value proposition. What's unique about you? I'm sure you already have a clear idea. Um, when I started working on my girlfriend's marketing plan for her OnlyFans account, I started out with, she's a T-girl, a trans woman, and that was a major one. And then she is also a male, and she has big tits and a big T, and she's horny and kinky, and she's Scandinavian. So that's a lot. But in the beginning, I just focused on the T-girl thing. And then I started doing research from that. I went into Pornhub that. And so what people search for T-girls, uh, what words they use. They use words Mina would never use, uh, like tranny. But it's her job and my job, because I'm helping her, to know her client's language. Because this is the things they are searching for. So we have to use the same words. We have to speak the same language. And I know you can't really find someone by searching a Google or something like that and find someone on OnlyFans. But the thing is, when people find your profile and they see your profile, you want them to see their language on your page. So you don't want to write T-girl because they never use that word. You want to use the words they use so that they see, oh my God, this girl, my soulmate, she's reading my mind. This was exactly what I was looking for. So in addition to that, I found what age groups are searching most for T-girls uh, and where they are from, what times they are usually online. And that gave me a lot of ideas for content because it turns out like pantyhose is a big deal in the T-girl fan world. We can use that to create content. We can use that to create profile text and welcoming messages and social media posts. And there was a lot more, of course, but you have to find like your things. So you take one of your unique values, value propositions, what's unique about you and your channel and just do the research around that. And that will help you start talking your perfect subscriber's language. In addition to that, I found as many words that I could. Um, I just copy pasted them all into a template I want to do this so that I have them later. And then I used a train going by, I don't know if you And then I used those words uh, and Google search word planner and Google search word trend to find even more search words. And that is a really good beginning for your marketing plan. Just one of your unique qualities that you know and like about you can help you find so much information about your subscribers what language they use, what times you should be online. Um, and by language, I mean, yeah, I mean, pantyhose, tranny, and not just T-girl and stuff like that. Uh, but I also mean the language like Brazil, 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 
searched for T-Girls a lot, so maybe like a custom welcome message in uh, Portuguese would be nice. Yeah, so all of this research is it, going to give you so many ideas and help you so much on your way to create a loyal fan base. And you don't have to spend that much time on it, but like the first time, you might want to set a few hours up at least, maybe four or five hours. But then in the future, uh, it's going to be so easy and you have it all in your marketing plan. All the Google uh, Search Word Planner and the Google Search Word Trend, you can find so much great information on what words are being searched for the most. And you can see if it has changed during the last three months or during the last year. And then uh, use the words that are winning right now strategically uh, implemented naturally into your language online and it will help you so much create a connection with your perfect client and you do this with all of your unique uh, qualities uh, and then you will find hundreds of ideas for content hundreds of ideas for search words and you will learn so much about your clients i believe in giving your subscribers and clients and potential clients and everything they need and want. And I believe that I should do that too and give you all of my knowledge on marketing. And because of that, I have created a free to do it template. You can get it by clicking on the link below. And it will give you a step by step guide for free how to start doing it. In it, I have placed a lot of really nice pictures, links to useful websites, Prompts to use if you're using AI. List that you can check out. And you can even save everything you find out in that template. And just have it like your marketing plan. You don't have to write like a document. You can have everything. And I would find it just be as helpful as possible for you and help you get through this as easily and smooth as you possibly can. 